Okay, so now we have this expression for the number of particles which are passing through this annular um, differential cross-section d sigma, and that has to equal to the number of particles which are scattered into a particular differential solid angle d omega, okay? Um, and again, as dictated by the sort of the transfer function, the this, this term here tells you how each particle gets scattered um, depending on its initial impact parameter b. Okay, and then recall that we also have have uh, found that an expression for the differential um, solid angle in this geometry, um, which is equal to two pi sine of theta d theta. Okay, <clears throat> and so with these considerations, um, we have that we can cancel the i's and we get 2 pi b db is equal to d sigma d omega times um, 2 pi sine theta d theta. We cancel the two pi's all right and um, we're left with d sigma d omega, the differential um, cross-section, is equal to um, b over sine theta times db d theta. Okay, so now we have, uh, we, we recall that on the, we, we just found an expression for b as a function of theta, and so we can take the derivative of b, okay, with respect to theta, and then when we plug, the, well, so we'll have an expression for b as a function of theta, and we can take this uh, derivative of b with respect to theta, and then we're going to have everything in terms of theta, and we'll basically have our differential cross section, which again basically tells us, allows us to predict um, uh, the distribution of scattered particles, uh, that is distribution as a function of theta, um, you know, as you go, as you, as you, again, in the Rutherford experiment, they had a, a detector which basically surrounded their, their, their foil, so it will tell you uh, which, uh, how many particles to expect um, to hit, or what fraction of particles you expect to hit at any given angle. <coughs> okay, so if we look at the expression for b of theta, <clears throat> all right, we find we get this expression, and if we take the derivative of this with respect to theta, we get this expression, and notice we have it now a sine squared theta over 2 in the denominator, and also a 16 instead of an 8, and that just comes from the derivative. This is, this here is cotangent of theta over 2, so the derivative of a cotangent is uh, minus cosecant squared, and then we have a theta over 2, so, so times 1 half. We drop the minus sign because in this case it has no physical meaning. Okay, so now we have b and db d theta, and so we can plug in for b and db d theta. Okay, so with b of theta, I've just, I've just rewritten it here, b of theta equals this, db d theta equals this. So that means that um, uh, the differential cross-section, d sigma d omega, is equal to b over sine theta times uh, z little z big z e squared over 16 pi epsilon naught k naught sine squared theta over 2. Okay, we plug in for b and uh, this becomes little z big z e squared over 8 pi epsilon naught k naught and this gets squared because it comes in both d sigma d omega I mean in uh, uh, d b d theta and b and then times this denominator sine 2 sine theta tangent theta over 2 sine squared theta over 2. <coughs>